Hey guys and girls, we're going to talk about the calf, which can look beautiful for the girls and uh, awesome strong for the guys. So the thing about the calf is it's highly, highly functional, which means that you need it to be able to move properly. And the thing is, the calf is probably one of the closest muscles outside of the muscles around the foot, of course, to the foot. And I've gone on about the foot before in previous YouTube uh, and, and video channels, videos before. So what you want to do is you want to really look into how you move your foot. Now your foot moves in, out, up and down. So a lot of the time uh, people tend to walk either up like this, like they're on stilettos, okay? And they don't have this motion of going from the heel to the toe and up. So, so technically you want to be walking like this, transferring weight from heel to toe to heel. So that mechanically is going to make you feel a lot better. The other thing is, you, you, for healthy feet and calves, really this is all about the feet, but we're talking about the calf because it's the calf muscle. With a strong calf, healthy calf, you're actually going to move properly. Your posture starts from the feet. I may not have talked about this before, but it begins from there. It's hugely important. Uh, if you've got legs that are the first point of contact to the floor, massively important. Um, and you need them for movement and you need them for stability. I have started to write articles about this recently because I'm really getting into learning about it and, and understanding how it all works. And the movement of the feet is more things like running and sprinting, uh, Thai boxing, martial arts, dynamic, even dance, dynamic fast movements, athletics. And you need what I was showing you in rapid speed or on slow speed, that heel-toe, heel-toe action. Um, and that actually makes you very powerful. But the other thing you need is a very still foot from deadlifts, for example, or from a one-leg squat where it's the opposite. You're grounding your foot, you're gripping your foot into the ground. It's very stable. So if, if someone were to push me while I'm on one leg, for example, I'd be able to hold myself up. I'd be able to hold here because my, my foot is gripping into the floor and I've got that stability. Wherever I've got two feet or one leg, uh, one foot, I should be able to do that because I want that stability, that strength. It means if someone's trying to push you, you're solid, you grip into the floor. You're not gonna fall like jelly on the floor like a yoga instructor might. Sorry to yoga instructors, there are really good ones out there, but I've noticed that softness. So anyway, the other thing is, so, so you want two types of workouts. You want one that's got foot stability and one that's got foot dy dynamism or, or movement. So I hope that helps. And if you'd like me to come and check your feet out, I don't have feet, foot fetishes or anything like that, uh, for function, for posture, for good health and strength, for power, for whatever it is that you're looking for. Um, the foot or the feet are a great way to great health. So I hope that helps. Come and check me out at the uh, at SW1 at my training studio uh, by Big Ben and hope to see you soon.